So here you can see the mirroring of Android device on a laptop. You can see the mobile screen on a laptop or desktop. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you how to make it possible. So first of all, let me go to Google and we're gonna search for Scurpy there. So let me open the Google here and then I'm gonna search for Scurpy. And here you can see that Scurpy is a free and open source screen mirroring application. Okay, so you have to click on that first GitHub link. Fine, it is open and now you have to scroll it down and then you have to click on this Windows then download. If you are using Linux or Mac OS then you can use these commands. But I'm using Windows and I have downloaded it. You can see that and now finally I have to open this file here and I have to extract the files from the zip file fine now we have to click on this scurpy.exe which is the application file I'll be clicking on it but yeah, you can see that it is not working so I'll be try to open it again and again it is not working bingo it is not working because I have not connected my Android device to the laptop yet okay so first of all I have to connect my Android device and make sure the developer option is on in the mobile device so don't worry if you don't know about the developer option I'll be telling you about it also step by step okay so I have connected my device and now let me tell you how to turn on the developer option so for that you have to go to your mobile settings so here you can see my mobile screen and it's a Google meet actually okay so I'll be going to settings and you have to go to about phone at the end and then you have to click on software information and then you have to click on build number for at least five six time and then you have to enter your password and here you can see that developer mode has been on okay so now we have to on the USB debugging and Wi-Fi debugging and other options for your choice so I'll be going to that developer option here I am and then I have to turn on this USB debugging and then wireless debugging is not getting on because Wi-Fi is not connected yet okay so now few more options here you can see that various options are there if you are a pure developer then you can understand all these things but if you are a newbie then okay no issue and let me uh, turn on some ANR and crash thing so that we can see why the app crashes and all that but if you are a new newbie then you don't need to do this you just have to on that USB debugging option okay fine so now our Scurpy will work so I'll be ending this Google Meet and then we'll back to that Scurpy folder and first of all you have when you are connecting your uh, USB cable to mobile again then you have to allow this debugging okay and now I'll be opening this Scurpy here be clicking on open and then you will be able to see the screen yes so here we are successfully able to mirroring the screen of our Android device and now I'll be opening different apps to check whether it is working perfectly fine or not so here you can see that everything is working perfectly fine and it's very awesome if you are an Android developer then you must have these options in your system screen mirroring is such a good option and this is Scurpy is very less size app that you can use or we have different applications also that provide the same surface okay so this is marked as the end of this video so I would like to request you to subscribe to our channel techno learning and share our videos all the videos are made for the education purpose only and we are here to teach you android app development able to learn android at depth 
by watching our android projects so keep on subscribing techno learning like share